You know, I, I would compare them to um, incredible musicians like, like Beethoven, for instance, whose range of possibilities is, is quasi-infinite. Um, I have a lot of respect for Gerhard Richter and uh, basically what he did was really the opposite of what I did. Um, so you're putting basically fire and ice together. <laughs> we are the two main protagonists of abstraction with a tendency, of course, to veer towards figuration occasionally. My earlier work was more conceptual and less sensuous, has less body in it, less poetry. And there I was really finding myself. There are a couple of examples of those in the exhibition that were made in the 70s that correspond almost exactly equally in time and process with Richter. So there we are practically moving in the same direction, but of course we diverge since he aligned ab abstract expressionism with photography and I aligned um, abstract expressionism with um, a contemporary form of relationship by um, making it more sculptural and taking out the sublime. Nothing quite fits with, with, uh, with Scully's abstractions and this sense of uh, abutting parts that are never quite, as in a minimalist grid, never finely tuned so that everything is crisp and clean and solid. None of that with, with Scully. There's this sense of living uh, entity that is constantly feeding up the surfaces that we see. And that I find uh, extremely interesting in the way Scully uh, paints and, and actually sculpts as well because the sculptures reflect the same, same phenomenon. And you could say the same in different ways, very different ways with Richter as well. I think what the commonality here is that both of these artists, each of these artists, infuses his own pictorial idiom with a uh, stunning dose of, of, of life, of humaneness. Both of them, each of them, uh, affords himself the rare luxury of showing up, living their humanity in front of us through their painting. Well, of the most recent paintings, like this one we've got here, they are called Landline. And what I've done with these paintings is to include references to serialized music and landscape painting. So basically what I've, what I've done with these is kept them abstract, but make them in some way refer to the landscape and the endless horizon making of the landscape of the night and day. And this is because our concerns have changed since the time of Abex which people say, instead of having to say tediously abstract expressionism all the time, I, I note that after the Second World War, we looked for the sublime, for the other. And abstract expressionism, of course, came out of Jungian theory and surrealism. In, in, a, in other words, a way of escaping from all the carnage we had inflicted on each other, which we continued to do. And now our concerns are, are different, as they would be, because now we have an ex existential issue regarding the environment. So 
my work has recently veered more in the relationship to nature. So the, the reference to landscape painting in my work has become more overt. And that's what these are about. And that's why they're called landline.